Hello YouTube, welcome to NickNet VideoCast and today I'm gonna teach you how you can create your own logo. Yes, if you have a website or a brand or something, you need a logo and the best way to create your logo is on Photoshop. So I'm gonna teach you a few tricks to create a simple, uh, sorry, uh, awesome logo in Photoshop. And I'm using Photoshop CS6 but it will work for the most versions of Photoshop so let's just go ahead and build our first logo so go to file hit on new and select the width as 1050 that is 1050 pixel and the height as 600 and make sure the resolution is set to 100 otherwise it will pixelate for the most part and hit the background content as white and hit on ok so this is our workplace now just go to the toolbox and select the text tool and create a diagonal diagonally uh, a box basically and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write the name of my YouTube channel and you can write your name or your product name or your brand name or your website and name anything so I'm gonna use the font which I really like is uh, it is a uh, copper plate gothic bold font I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna make the text size as 85 and I'm gonna select make sure it is selected as strong works fine this way and type the name like that okay so I will let's bring it to the middle select the move tool and drag it down in the middle yeah now select the text tool and I'm gonna make the end of my logo name a bit longer so i'm gonna in text tool i'm gonna increase the height of n maybe a little much yeah this looks good and this n should also be maybe larger but smaller than that please okay this looks good so what you are gonna do is select the text frame, right click on it and select rasterize type and it will basically convert the text into an uh, image so now we can easily work with the image. So what I am gonna do, I am gonna right click on it and create a duplicate layer, hit ok, right click on it, select duplicate layer or you can simply do control J will also make a copy so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the middle layer and go to image then adjustment then I'm gonna select hue and saturation and I'm gonna increase the lightness to 30 plus 30 percentage and hit ok now I'm gonna select the bottom layer the eye icon means it is visible and those who don't have an eye icon means that part is not visible you get that it's pretty simple for the most part I know you are good but so what I'm gonna do just go ahead to uh, filters and oops the text says it sorry Select the bottom part. Sorry for that distraction. Uh, go to filters and select the blur. Select the Gaussian blur, and it should be 20. Let's make this 20. No, 15. Yeah, this looks pretty good. And hit an OK. Yeah, 
So this is like a shadow kind of effect on the wall. I'll tell you. You'll get a clear, a clear picture when we are finished with this. And next, I'm gonna select the first layer and the second layer. Right click on it, but before that, I'm gonna add a little effect. So I'm gonna select the selection tool. I'm gonna create a horizontal lines like this and if you want to create more than one line just hold on the shift button and click and drag and make sure to make a random line with the random thickness try to randomize it it will look, it will look pretty cool that way Hold on the shift button, click and drag, click and drag. Z. Yeah. Once you are satisfied, I want you to select the first layer, then hit on the delete button. Now you can see it has pretty cool awesome effect. Just right click on it and select on deselect. Now you can see a pretty cool effect has been generated. Thanks to me. We can do that later. Okay. So next thing, I want you to select the first layer and hold on the control button. Select the second layer. Right click on it. Click on duplicate layer. Hit OK. Yeah. Now go to edit. Go to edit. Uh, transform and click on flip vertically so the two layer which I have which I have duplicated is now flipped vertically now hold on select the move tool hold on the shift button and just drag it down a little bit to create something shadow effect maybe yeah this looks pretty good and select the first layer and go to selection tool and select the bottom half of your layer right click on it click on feather and feather it about 30 pixels hit ok click on delete select the second layer and do the same hit on delete now you're getting a something like shadow effect but the bottom edge are pretty much visible for that you gonna what you can you can do is go to opacity and reduce the opacity to this one type 30 percent same thing you wanna do with the first layer like 30 percent okay now you can see a pretty shadow kind of effect is now generated now we are almost done right click on it we select now i'm gonna give it a little gradient something background so i'm gonna select the background and you can see it has a lock icon it means that you cannot do anything with this unless you unlock this so just double click on it hit on ok and now it is unlocked and now you can do whatever you want just go ahead on the toolbox and select the paint bucket now if you are seeing a paint bucket then click on it and hold your button then you will see a gradient tool click on gradient tool and i'm gonna select yeah this one hold on the shift button and just drag it down control that maybe you you would like to do this from bottom to up yeah now it looks pretty good so now you have created your first logo and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i post new video on various subjects and it will be fun this view and me learning awesome things about computer hey guys if you want to learn how you can hide a picture and a sound into one file 
then click the video on the left and if you want to learn how to do splatter effect in Photoshop then click the video on the right.